saved by grace alone, through faith alone, and Christ alone, let the church say, Amen. Holy day of glory and euphoria, the Lord is love, let the church say, Amen. Hi, this is Ham Dog from 3DayRespawn.com. We had a request this week um, from Matt LFC26, who is also, uh, I believe, Tsunami Rising from the website, so shout out to you. He asked, how is the PlayStation 4 controller compared to the 360 controller? Thinking about the PS4, but hated the PS3 controller. I have to agree with you, Matt, and uh, it, I, up till now, I would say that the PlayStation controller, in my opinion, is one of the worst controllers in history. Um, I've never liked it. I always thought it was a carpal tunnel nightmare, um, and I've always loved the Xbox controller, except for the first one, the, the mothership, if, if you all remember that one, is way too big. Um, but I have referred to the Xbox 360 controller as a hug for your hands. It is a great controller. Um, and it's still to date, I will say this, I will preface this video by saying it's still my favorite all-time controller. Nothing else has beat it. Um, it's great. That being said, I really like the PlayStation 4 controller and it is a, uh, it is the best PlayStation controller ever since PlayStation started. Um, and I'm really, really happy with it. So. Let me show you what it looks like in my hands compared to the Xbox 360. Let me get my camera going here. Um, let me just kind of focus up. Let me get, uh, I'll hold the 360, 360 controller first. Let me get focused in here so you guys can see what, uh, what I'm looking at. You can see my sock feet there too. Pro quality here at 3dayrespawn.com. Um, okay, so... As you can see here, uh, 360 controller. We've got the uh, the adjustable D-pad, which I've always been a fan of uh, since they they updated the controller with this. I thought it was great. Gives you a little more definition, and you can feel the D-pad a little bit better. Um, you've got the canted thumbsticks. Uh, just feels natural. Have your four buttons over here. Xbox button in the middle. Start, back, all the all that stuff. Nice triggers that feel like triggers. Have good resistance bumpers and also good resistance on the thumbsticks which I think is key. The other thing is this is one of the most I believe this is to be one of the most ergonomically correct uh, controllers in controller history. Like I said this is my favorite controller of all time. I wish manufacturers of consoles could just just let you lose, use whatever controller you wanted to and let, just let you map out the different buttons on the controller. I don't I just don't see that as a big deal. I think there'd be a lot more people that would that would cross platform game um, if you could do that because that was one of the things that was the main reason why I didn't play on the PlayStation 3 was because of the controller. Now, let me get the PlayStation 4 controller. Um, so let me do this first. I'll, I'm gonna hold this in my hand so you guys can see. What this controller looks like, I have kind of hold it, you know, in in my fingers, you know, around here, so you guys can see um, how this fits in my hand. Okay, so I want you to kind of take a mental picture of that, and let me grab the PlayStation 4 controller, and it holds very, very similarly. It definitely feels different, but it feels good. Um, the, the handles have been extended down to be longer and they're, uh, I believe they're a little thicker and they're shaped a little differently too. So you actually can hold the controller in your hand instead of like the PlayStation 3 controller. I always felt like you were holding it with your fingers and it just did not ergonomically fit in your hand correctly. So um, right off the bat, feels good. Um, feels, feels better than any PlayStation controller I've ever held in my life. Um, we've got the thumbsticks, which I believe is a huge improvement. They used to be very loose and did not really, I just, they didn't have any resistance on the thumbsticks. And I always thought that was a downplay. It just felt too, uh, too sensitive and any, any little movement would, would hurt what you were doing. Um, so good resistance on there, good movement. I like it. They're not canted. They're side by side, but they are a little bit wider apart, which makes it a little bit better. Um, and I actually got uh, used to it very quickly. So I, I, I dig it. I, I don't really find a problem with that. We've got the D-pad up here. Um, nice D-pad. Feels good. You can definitely feel what button you need to be pushing. Um, you know, you don't get confused, you know, wh where you are on that. You know, industry standard four buttons over here. You know, feels 
it feels right, feels good. Triggers are nice. We have actual, you know, decent triggers that fit really nicely in the in the curvature of your index finger here, um, and good bumper buttons. So um, big improvement on the triggers, big improvement on the thumbsticks, and really big improvement on the uh, the way it holds in your hand. Uh, I've got the PlayStation button in the middle right there. This is actually a little speaker uh, that comes out. Haven't had a game that really uses that yet, um, so we'll see. Um, and then we have the the options button up here and the share button right here. And right here is a big giant button. You can actually push it. And it's also a trackpad. I haven't used it yet in game for anything. Um, so I, I don't have an opinion really on the trackpad and what it does yet. Um, I think that's going to be kind of a, something that comes out later where uh, you know, different game uh, designers are going to find different ways to use it. Um, not real keen on it. Um, you know, it, just because uh, that just seems gimmicky to me and just like the Kinect or uh, PlayStation Eye or, or whatever, you know, the PlayStation Move or the Wii, it just feels a little gimmicky to me. I'm, I'm not really, I'm not really tracking with that. Um, one of the main reasons why I don't game on a, a phone or take phone gaming seriously is it just, I don't know, that doesn't seem serious. This seems serious, which is good. Um, so this really doesn't affect your gaming. Um, this is probably just going to affect like different add-on things to your gaming experience, which I'm hoping is what they do. I don't want that to be implemented in any way. So here's my only complaint about this controller. You have the uh, options button right here, and you have the share button right here. Now it doesn't seem like it would be much of a, a problem to hit those when you want to. Like the share button is a great idea because you can start a uh, video and stop it um, for where you want to stop and start recording. You can take a screenshot, you can hit it real quickly and, and select Twitch so you can broadcast what you're, what you're playing to your uh, friends on Twitch, which is awesome. Options just like your start menu. Um, but for some reason when you're playing, it, it just feels like this is hard to get to and I don't know why. It's just it just doesn't seem like a great placement and I think it has to do with this big trackpad here. What I wish they would have done is would have been like if you hit cuz this is a button. You can actually press this down. It it would be awesome if the right side was the start button and the left side was that share button or the not the start button, the options button on the right hand side, aka the start button. And the left-hand side would be the share or the share button. Um, I think that would have been much more much more better because it's just it's very simple. It's a big button. I like that. I like the fact that it's a big button, and I want to see them use that feature. Like on Battlefield, that brings up battle log. That makes sense. I want to go to battle log. Boom, battle log. It's right there. Use the biggest button on the controller. Makes sense. Um, so um, I think uh, I think the button is good. I think just this little layout up here is the only thing that's really an issue. But like I said, not really a big issue. It's my only complaint about the controller. Um, we've got uh, your chat cable uh, stuff down here. Input. I have the uh, Turtle Beach X41s. All I had to do was get a $6 uh, chat cable and I plug right in here and I can use my X41s that I used on my X Xbox 360, which is very cool. Um, and there's this... Uh, up here is the charger for the the micro USB uh, port um, on on your uh, PlayStation. You know, pretty much a industry standard for electronics now, and it charges well. It's fine. And um, uh, indicator light on what uh, on what controller you have. Uh, usually, it lights up in blue um, for controller number one. And then there's other colors too. It's 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 actually it's it has uh, light up in red while I'm playing Need for Speed Rivals. Um, so I don't know what that means yet. <laughs> Drew and I were trying to figure it out the other day. AKA New Creation. Shout out to him. Um, so I'm not sure why it lights up in red sometimes, but it does. I don't know if if it lights up in red when you're being chased or something. But that's kind of cool. It's it's a cool light. So, uh, but yeah, great controller. I think it's great. I think it's. Uh, it's, it's pretty much on par with a 360 controller in my opinion. Um, I like it a lot. Um, some people probably think differently, but as a diehard Xbox fan, um, this generation, 
Um, I think I think some things are going to be neck and neck this time around, um, in my opinion. So I'm really digging the uh, the PlayStation 4 controller. Um, and like I said, I've been a I've been an Xbox 360 Xbox guy the whole time. Um, like and and it's it's a it's a good matchup. Definitely definitely better. So uh, thanks, Matt, for your question, and I hope this helped you out a lot. And uh, we'll see you on 3DayRespawn.com. See ya. Hey everyone, this is Drew, aka New Creation 23 from 3DayRespawn.com. I just want to thank you for checking out this video, and I would encourage you to sign up for 3 Day Respawn, uh, the website, and also to subscribe to our YouTube channel. It is free to sign up for 3DayRespawn.com. I'm actually going to show you here in a second how to sign up. So once again, thank you for checking out this video, and God bless. So here we are on the front page of 3DayRespawn.com. As you can see, there's some scrolling media things going on right now. Um, but if you scroll down a little bit and you look to the login section, if, you don't, if you're not a member, it is free to sign up, like I said before. And all you have to do is come down here and create an account. And once you click on that, it's going to take you to a screen where you have to put in a few required fields. But after that, you're ready to go. You're ready to get rolling on 3DayRespawn.com. Uh, so once you're signed in, I'll show you what my homepage looks like. Uh, we have notifications up here. It tells you anytime somebody comments on something you've commented on. There's friend request invites and there's uh, new messages that you'll see. So all you have to do is start getting involved. There's groups up here you can start joining and um, there's events that you can join up on and meet new people. We got our Twitter feed over here, um, but it's you know we're gonna have a couple videos on here as well later on to show you exactly how to like upgrade your um, upgrade your profile and stuff like that. But once again, thank you so much for checking out 3D Respawn. Hope to see you on the website and also hope to see you online. God bless. <music>